All right, and welcome back to another episode of Drupal 8 for Drupal 7 developers. So this is a series in which we discuss uh, what we can learn as Drupal 7 developers uh, so that we are up to speed on Drupal 8, uh, especially in the area of module development, theme development, and all the other things that developers are concerned about. So here's uh, the site that we installed in our last episode. And we are logged in here. Let's, uh, let's look at how Drupal 8 differs. On the surface, it looks similar, a little more polished, yes. Um, there are these context, uh, like immediate access menus everywhere, wherever you hover. So this is like the gearbox menu, the contextual menu that we used to uh, see in Drupal 7. So that's not so different and uh, you can edit view yes that's right uh, views are now in core so you can start editing the front page and node listing is simply a view you can edit that but let's start by creating some content so add content let's say article and the first thing you might notice is that there is this rich text editor remember i have not enabled any extra modules. I have not downloaded any new modules. This is what comes out of the box with Drupal 8. So with Drupal 8 now comes uh, the rich text editor uh, or WYSIWYG editor if you will and uh, you don't have to install or download it. It's out of the box. So let's uh, add you know my first article and if I type something in this is line 1 and let's say bullets let's put some bullets bullet and if i yep so that makes it a bullet let's make, put put another bullet okay so then you can there are three i guess uh, text formats to choose from basic html restricted html and full html and uh, the vertical uh, tabs that used to be at the bottom of the form are now on the top right so that's these guys and you can add tags of course you can upload images this is same as before nothing new and let's just save and publish so this is my article my comment form is just below the article it also has a rich text editor and if I go to the front page now my article is on the front page I can read more I can also quick edit so this is quick edit this is a new feature where you can change things and modify things right there in place I can just say hey line one addition or I can add an extra bullet and then I just hit save and that has my changes so this is kind of nice uh, again, we are developers, so we don't uh, dwell too much on this uh, content management aspect, although it's nice. Uh, from a site administrator viewpoint, again, this is the manage menu. This is what comes with core. But then if you want to go to second level, uh, let's say child of structure, you have to click on structure and then it brings you here. Uh, similarly in configuration you click on configuration and it brings you here so let's see what uh, what it is complaining about there are some ah drupal core update status looks like uh, there is a new version of drupal core so we'll we'll look at it later but back to the site let's uh, install download and install our first contrib module but before we do that let us uh, you know look at the directory structure let me log into my server where Drupal 8 is installed okay so here's my doc root Drupal 8 doc root and if I show what's there so there is uh, modules themes directories and core directory in Drupal 8 they have moved all core related stuff into the core directory and uh, so this is what is in core so you don't see Drupal root sprinkled with all core stuff 
but what's in modules there's nothing in modules because this is the place for placing contrib modules similarly themes in dark root is the place for downloading contributed themes this is, performs the job of what used to be sites all if you go to sites directory there is no sites all there is sites default but no sites all so any shared modules or themes you should put in uh, the dark roots modules or dark roots themes directories but I generally don't do that I prefer keeping everything in my site directory so let's go to my site directory and let's uh, create the directory structure it's in my history so I just say mkdir minus p modules contrib modules custom themes libraries and scripts okay so that creates all the directories I needed and now all I'm going to download drush dl admin underscore not menu but admin underscore toolbar this is the Drupal 8 module that pretty much uh, performs the job of admin menu admin menu menu toolbar so this got downloaded to sites default modules contrib admin toolbar let's enable it so drush minus y e n admin toolbar okay so now it's enabled let's go back look at this refresh our page and it doesn't look any different until you hover on structure or configuration or any of the sub sub menus so the great thing is now you don't have to click on configuration to go and then first click on configuration then click on you know development and then performance and all those things you don't have to do it it just fly they use fly out menus so on hover the sub menus they just expand so that's nice so beyond that there are a few things block layout is much more advanced we will explore it in uh, some later uh, episodes uh, the contact forms uh, you have you can have multiple uh, there are comment types which is something new uh, also yeah, I guess uh, modules is called extend now and it has built-in module filter you can uh, just filter the, by name one thing that you uh, must realize that in Drupal 8 you cannot disable modules you have to uninstall them so that's something kind of important um, we'll talk more about that later so and in configuration you see very familiar familiar uh, things that we used to see earlier okay so let's uh, stop here and then in the next episode we will look at more developer concerns until then uh, enjoy Drupal 8